The majority of the editing that I do in Design Shop is all wireframe editing. And if you have watched uh, these videos, you will see me move points around, move handles around, and things will act very differently. Um, and you may not always uh, know why they're acting differently. And that's because for the mar large part, you're not seeing what I'm doing on my keyboard. You have a lot of different commands available to you. Um, but depending on which button on the mouse you click with and which key on the keyboard you're holding when you do it, um, what's being edited will act very, very differently. So I have a big list here of all the different commands that are available in your help system as well, but I'm going to go through them one by one um, and kind of show you on screen and I will uh, try to walk you through what I'm holding with what fingers on either the mouse or the keyboard when I do it so that hopefully you'll be able to kind of keep up with me a little bit. All right, so I'm starting off with just a, a regular just rectangle because uh, it's going to give you kind of the easiest view of what's going on. And when I hover my mouse or my cursor rather uh, over that wireframe line, so the wireframe line right now is is uh, blue. It's a little hard to see because you've got the resize edit box around it that's black. So it's it's you've got a lot of different colors kind of competing for the same space right now. But when I hover over that line, uh, I get a little line by my cursor, and all that means is I can I can edit this line. So um, if you're dealing with the wireframe edge of a fill of a column, if you're dealing with just a walk stitch, or even if you're dealing with uh, the, the envelope or perspective or custom line line type when you're dealing with lettering, um, you will see the cursor act uh, in, in this manner. So if I left click, I will add a straight point. It's represented by a little triangle. If I right click, so I gotta move over to where I'm just over a line. If I right click, I will add a curve point. And when I add a curve point, you will see um, those handles associated with them, the little uh, bezier handles, the, the handles themselves are black and the bar that holds them is, is red. So if I click and drag on that handle, now you can start to see that blue outline that I was talking about, the black resize edit line that's going over it. So we've got a lot of different things on the screen. So let's kind of, let's uh, go through and kind of point those out a little bit. All right, so the first thing that we have is uh, straight points are these little triangles, curve points are these little circles. Um, notice that when I have one selected, it is filled in with black. These guys, uh, let me clear those off the screen. Uh, these here are what I'm talking about when I'm talking about a bezier handle, and they operate these kind of levery bars right there and so uh, they will act differently depending on if you are connected to a straight point or a curve point. So let me clear that off. All right, uh, this blue line around the edge, that's just your wireframe uh, edge, your wireframe line. Um, this is your resize, or yeah, your resize edit box. Remember that when these are hollow that you're in uh, rotate mode. All right, so let's get back in here and start looking at what happens when we start moving these. If I click on a wireframe point, I have it selected. Notice that my cursor now has a little circle beside it. That means I'm over a curve point. If I click and drag, I will move that curve point. I can click and drag on any of the handles to change that. If I wanted it to arc out completely, I need to hold the control key on my keyboard as I do that. And when I do, it will arc out completely. It'll be just a perfect arc. All right, if I wanted to change that uh, via the handles, I obviously can do that. Um, now, here's kind of the big difference between a straight point and a curve point. Curve point, I mean, you can create the same types of shapes with straight points that you can with curve points. It just takes a lot more work. Um, if I click on the handle of one of these curve points, notice that the other side moves with it. With a straight point, that is not the case. I click on one and the other, sti the other side stays exactly the same. So that's the big difference in those two. Curve points, both handles move when you drag one, straight points. They can, each side can have a handle, 
they don't both have to have handles. One, it, it, you can have one handle coming off of a straight point and not have one on the other side. But if you have one on each side, they do not move at the same time. So curved points, the handles move together. Straight points, the handles, if there are two, will move independently. Big, big difference in those. Um, if you have one and you want it to be the other, there are a couple of different ways to do that. So I have a curve point right here. If I wanted that to be a straight point, so if I move one handle, I could move the other. Um, I can hold shift and click on the handle and it will change. And now I could move those handles independently of each other. If you can't remember that, you can always double click or right click and go to properties on the point itself. And then you can change it via these radio buttons. So as soon as I hit it to curve and hit apply, those handles locked together and um, kind of straightened out. So now if I move one, it will move the other. So again, that's either by uh, double clicking on a selected point or right clicking and going to properties on a selected point. Another thing that you can do, uh, if you have something that doesn't have a handle that you want to have a handle, you can hold shift and click and drag off of that point to give that point a handle. And if you do it twice, you'll get one off of each side. Now, if I have um, a curve and I want it to straighten out, so I just curved this piece and I really would rather it not have a handle and I'd rather have that be completely straight. Um, I would hold control and right click on that line and that will straighten that out. Now if I do that here, watch what happens to this point. I do that, it straightens out and because I just removed one of the handles, that point can no longer be a curve point because curve points require two handles that are tied into each other. So it became a straight point. I still have a handle on one side, but the handle on the left side is totally gone. All right. So those are kind of all the things that you can do with those uh, outlines by clicking on them, dragging those pieces. Um, you've got all those keyboard commands. Uh, mostly it's holding uh, either shift or control when you click on something. Um, Alt will still constrain, constrain a line angle depending on what you're dragging. But you also have um, some other things that you can do as far as how you're selecting things. So let's go back in. I'm going to open up Earth Day, which is a design that's loaded uh, with your software, and we'll kind of wireframe edit some of this in a slightly different way. All right, so I'm going to go File, Open, and because I don't want to scroll, I'm just going to start typing. Um, I type E A R and I it just this is the only thing left that has those letters so I can click on it hit open and I'm going to go ahead and open up Earth Day all right so uh, first of all I'm going to just for grins and giggles I'm going to remove the trees from this design um, so if you have a design that you like the majority of it, but you just want to move, uh, remove elements of it, you can go in, especially if it's a wireframe design, go in, delete those pieces. So in this case, we will delete the trees, but when I do that, and I'm going to click on the tree here just to highlight it in the project view. Um, so I see the brown, I see the green. Since that's the only thing that those two colors are, I'm just going to select all of that by clicking on uh, the top element of one, holding shift, clicking on the bottom element of the other, and then I'm going to uh, press delete on my keyboard to remove those. So I just removed the trees. Unfortunately, right now I have some huge holes in my sky. So to delete those holes, I'm going to select my sky, and you can see that I have that whole wireframe outline there. So if you wanted to edit it, you could, but You'll notice that the holes don't connect to an edge. It's not a chunk taken out of it. It's actually a hole inside of it. If I select inside of that hole, that resize edit box will go down to that hole. And if I needed to change the shape of it, I could click on any of these points and wireframe edit the shape of it. But if I want to delete the hole, I can simply select the hole fill, 
Then once that's selected, click inside the hole. The resize edit box will go down to that hole and I can press delete on my keyboard or I could go to right click and delete through that menu and it goes away. That hole goes away and it fills back in with stitches for me. So I'm gonna do that with this other tree as well. And now that's done. I was able to go in and simply remove a piece. I filled in stitches uh, where they needed to be filled in just by deleting the hole that fill will automatically fill in for you. So wireframe editing has a lot of potential um, and it's something that you'll use quite a bit when you're editing your designs. But uh, keep all those keyboard shortcuts in mind because they can really help you achieve the, the shapes that you're looking for and kind of the elements to follow the, the shapes that you need.